Good morning, welcome. This is the first video in my series on feeling frugal. Um, I'm gonna have a playlist on this, and this is the very first video. And I've been reading through Amy Decisions, the Complete Tight Wide Gazette, that's all three of her books into one, and you can get this on Amazon, but it is a great read. It is so full of wonderful, frugal ideas for you and your family. And I've read through it a couple of times, but I'm going back now and I'm taking a highlighter and I'm really circling and um, putting little tabs on ideas that are really good and can really save you a lot of money. So today's video is all about saving money on snack food. Now I have six grandkids and they want snacks all the time. And in this, these days when prices are, are so high at the grocery store, you really got to look at ways to cut back or to feed your family a little more frugally. So I grew up um, eating popcorn. My dad loved popcorn and he had it almost every night before we'd go to bed. He'd have a big bowl of popcorn and he fixed his on the stove with a pot and some vegetable oil. And that's what I grew up with. Now, around 1979, I want to think, we um, got our first microwave. And we started using the microwave popcorn. Oh, it was so good. So much better than the pot. And we loved the microwave popcorn. Now, of course, when it came out, it was probably full of preservatives and artificial colors and all, but it tasted really, really good. Now this box, it's the Walmart, the cheaper brand. It only has 12 packs in it. And I wanted a way to save money, so I went back to the old timey popcorn. This was from the Dollar Tree. They're now $1.25, but they're non-GMO. And this bag um, has 30 servings in it. So 30 servings for $1.25 versus 12 servings for somewhere around between four and five dollars. This is the better value. And then of course I get the coconut oil from um, Dollar Tree, and that's a good buy. And then you just need some lunch bags. You can use white or brown. I, I picked the brown because they're a little bit cheaper. And so I'm gonna show you how to make your own popcorn, microwavable popcorn, not the one that's cooked on the stove. And it is so delicious. There are very few seeds left um, in the bag. And this is just a great cheap snack. It's very healthy. There's no preservatives in it or artificial colors or a lot of sugar. And then you can season it how you like with um, popcorn salt or butter or Parmesan cheese or ranch mix, whatever, however you like to season it. But let's get started and I'll show you how easy it is to make your own microwavable popcorn. All right, you just take um, two of the paper bags and I use two because um, these are very thin bags. If you have a thicker bag, you could get away with using one, but I just put um, two of them together and open up the bottom because you don't want that bag to bust in the microwave and the bags now are just so thin. Then I'm gonna take about a teaspoon of coconut oil and drop it into the bottom of the bag. Just like that. And next, I used for this bag three tablespoons of popcorn. And it was a nice size, perfect size for one person but you can't, you don't really wanna go over four tablespoons because it will bust out of your bag. So anywhere from three to four tablespoons of the popcorn in the bag, right in there on top of the coconut oil. And then you're just going to um, fold over the top about two times, a nice hard fold, really crease it so it doesn't pop open. And that's it. So then we just walk over to the microwave and place it in. And I hit the microwave popcorn tab and start. That is all you have to do. So easy and so delicious. 
and then you can watch it and it will start popping away and usually about three minutes it's completely done. Now you just open up your bag and you pour it in a bowl and there's very few kernels um, in the bottom of the bag. Everything popped nicely and as you can see it filled that bowl up with just three tablespoons of the popcorn. Now I have Amish popcorn salt that I prefer and I just pour it on there and enjoy. So again, this is a very frugal snack for kids, for the family. So easy to make and very inexpensive. So I hope you give this one a try um, for your family and see if you like it. Please let me know in the comments below if you've tried it and like it. Now for my next frugal video, I'm gonna share with you um, how to do your own french fries. You can see here in these cases, french fries are hard to find right now. I did find a bag of an off-brand, and if you look at the price, they are $4.89 for a bag, and that's kind of a small bag, eight ounces. But I want you to look at what I did find over in the produce section was a 10-pound bag of russet potatoes for $4.99. So I'm going to share with you in the next frugal video how to make your own home fries, your own potato wedges, and you don't have to worry if your store doesn't have any frozen french fries. So stay tuned for that, and thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a very blessed day.